Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video and I want to go over a little bit quick if it's is the Galaxy S3 Neo worth it? Uh, that's a very very good question. I mean, is it worth it to go out and uh, spend a little money on that device? Like, how many? Is it worth go spending that money on this device? That's a good question. So, uh, compared to the original Galaxy S3, uh, what has this phone to offer? What it, What is cool about it? Well, it's cool that it come with, uh, comes with the latest version of Android. That's it. That's that's the only thing that I can see a uh, reason why you would want this device. Now, don't get me wrong, it's like nothing super wrong with it. There are some uh, uh, Samsung devices, uh, Galaxy S3 devices in the US that's been getting the latest version of Android also. Uh, this is not the latest version, but Android 4.4.2, almost, uh, almost the latest version. Uh, it's cool. It's cool that it comes with that, this device. Uh, but then it has some things like in, uh, in, in like the camera app, instead of having the Galaxy S5 UI, it, it kind of comes with the Galaxy S4 UI. And I mean, the Galaxy S4 is a little bit old, so it kind of sucks. I mean, couldn't they at least offer the Galaxy S5 UI? If they did that, then it would be a little bit cool, but there's really nothing major cool about this device, why you would want to pick it up, especially not this time frame. I mean, if you're not, we're super, super into the Galaxy S3 uh, and you just want to have the latest version, you're really like an enthusiast, uh, enthusiastic guy or something, you're really passionate about the Galaxy S3, then this is a pretty okay phone. Uh, but if you look at the specs, like if you go into like Anto 2, you can see everything similar, very many things are similar to uh, what we saw, saw in the Galaxy S3, 720p display, 8 megapixel camera. The difference here could be the Adreno 305 GPU, so some GTA games is going to play even more horrible, which is a major downside for me at least. This is a key reason why I probably wouldn't pick up this device. In game of games, probably pretty decent though, okay. Uh, QCOM, calm, but I'd rather pick the original Exynos in the original Samsung device. But then we shouldn't forget that the latest version of Android, you know, when you're gonna see it in a store, you're gonna feel like it's so fresh and that it might come with some new additions. But overall, I wouldn't pick up this device uh, because it's, you know, it's not worth it, kind of. Uh, at least they should have definitely added some new exclusive additions, I think, for this one. Uh, so it would feel a little bit more like a solid choice, but uh, meh. Don't, don't get it, don't get it, that's just my advice. Peace out.